So with uh, COSAC, we succeeded to identify several organic molecules in the so-called sniffing mode, so detecting the atmosphere, so to say, close to the comet. Um, and we are currently investigating which species of molecules exactly these were in the mass spectrometers, but this will be published very soon. So the, the major aspect of Rosetta as a whole is to understand comets better. The comets are believed to be leftovers from the very early days of the solar system, some 4.6 billion years ago. So we want to analyze this material. Um, we also know or that there is organic compounds uh, in comets and these organic compounds have been brought to the early Earth and uh, most likely have played an important role in the formation of life. So at the moment we, we are analyzing all these data we have received uh, from the surface. So it appears that there is a, a dusty soft layer on some more solid, more uh, some ground with a higher strength, so we investigate the properties of our jump of Phile, which will give indication on this, but there was also the MUPUS instrument which hammered into ground and uh, very soon came to quite solid, quite hard um, surface material or subsurface material. And at the moment we are trying to compare the data from the various instruments to get a better picture of how this surface really is. We have, a bit, have to be a bit patient right now. Originally we thought we could more or less immediately continue in this phase, uh, but now since we are in, a, in an area where there is a lot of shadow and not too much sunshine, we have to wait for almost probably a few months until the lander gets enough sunlight, the comet is approaching the sun, so that we can reactivate it. So our original fear that the uh, lander would overheat is not relevant anymore. We are in the shadow, uh, so we can operate much longer in principle, but we have to be patient and wait for a little bit more time until we have enough solar power to reactivate Phile.